It's no secret that Americans have never embraced getting older, but with the anti-aging industry raking in over $261 billion in the past year alone, there's never been a better way, better time to, to get smart about what you're putting in your medicine cabinet and on your body. Joining us now with five things the anti-aging industry won't tell you is Market Watch Retirement and Healthcare Specialist Elizabeth O'Brien. Now, one, one of the things they won't tell you is that they, they, they profit from your insecurities, right? So if you, if you, if you mm -hmm. think you're, you know, your skin's not just right, they're going to play off that. They're not going to tell you, oh, it's fine. They're going to say, oh, yeah, that, that, that's something we can fix. Exactly, exactly. They're definitely, people are, in this country in particular, we're um, not kind to, to older people. And, and we make, the, the marketing is good at fueling people's perception that it's their fault if they've gotten older. And, and it's their fault, but hey, there's a fix, you know? And some of the doctors that you see aren't always really the specialists in their, in their field. I'm thinking of things that are injected into one, one, one's face and stuff. Yeah, yeah. anti-aging is a growing uh, specialty in medicine. Some prefer to call it age management. But doctors from all specialties can call themselves an anti-aging specialist. There are burned out ER doctors who are gravitating toward the practice. And they might not have any specialized training in fields, for example, like endocrinology the, for the prescribing of hormones. They might not have any specialized training in, in the things that they're prescribing. And that actually feeds into the next one that you find out, the, the, the lack of regulation in this industry. I mean, I could, I could go and do something like this, perhaps, you know, in terms of gi giving out treatment, right? Yeah, there are. It's illegal to, to buy one without a prescription, but there are ways to online to, to, to do that, absolutely. And um, it is disturbing. Well, the one reason why the FDA doesn't regulate these compounded bioidentical hormones, that's the kind that are custom mixed in a lab, is because each prescription is different. They're kind of mixed from raw ingredients in a pharmacy and it goes, you know, each person gets a custom dose. But people, they don't carry the same warning labels that traditional drugs do. And people might think that means they're not, you know, there's no problem. So uh, what I love about it, you say the marketing uh, chops exceed the scientific chops. I, I, I think that, I mean, that seems to sum it. I also heard someone say something similar to this many years ago. We manufacture cosmetics, we sell hope. Exactly, hope in a jar. That's, that's certainly, um, the cosmetics are not drugs. They're, they're not overseen by the FDA um, in terms of before they go to market. So the FDA is not looking at whether the wrinkle cream will actually reduce your wrinkles by 50% before it goes on to market. If there are safety concerns about something, the FDA might look at it afterward. But, you know, uh, cosmetic companies are very good at packaging. They put cream in a sumptuous box. They create a, a wonder, wonderful narrative about their secret ingredient, their special ingredient that's going to turn back time. And it's largely, you know, the, the science is, is not there to support their claims oftentimes. Now, maybe yeah. people should sort of get with the idea that you can look better if you eat better. Um, cut the bad habits, smoke, smoking, excessive drinking, and do a bit of exercise. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't that be? I mean, I know that's sort of cra crazy crazy idea <laughs> in this instant sort of. I want everything yes, instant. Exactly. But get out, walk to work instead of taking the car, Absolutely. whatever it is. Well, that's the way to go. There is no fountain of use. There is no quick fix. I mean, Americans, we love our instant gratification, but really, doctors say that the best things you can do to look and feel good as you get older are exactly that: exercise regularly and eat well, stay out of the sun, and use sunblock when you're in the sun, don't smoke. You know, these are basic things, and they're free. So, they're there. And, and, and broccoli's cheap, is all I will say. There you it go. Might be, it might be strong tasting, but it, but it is cheap. It Thank is you cheap. very much. Uh, you've got that story on Market Watch, and uh, five more things that you probably don't know about the anti-aging industry.